Welcome back. Now, astronomers have made a new discovery at the far reaches of our solar system. Around five billion kilometers from Earth is the dwarf planet Pluto, and it's here that astronomers have found a new moon. Its largest moon, Charon, is half the size of Pluto, and the latest discovery is called P5. That's Pluto's fifth moon. There it is. It has an irregular shape, only 10 to 25 kilometers in diameter. Well, in three years' time, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft will be flying past Pluto, but scientists are worried there could be more moons out there and any collision could take out the spacecraft. Well, Mark Showalter is a member of the Hubble observing team which discovered the moon. He's from the SETI Institute and is joining us now from Mountain View in California. Mark Showalter, the experts um, are calling it P5. How exciting is this find and how significant is it? Well, it's always exciting to find a new piece of real estate in the solar system, of course. Uh, this one has a nice little story to tell in that it fits very nicely within the other set of moons we've already known about. And that seems to be telling us a bit about how the planet Pluto and its satellite Charon formed. Yeah, I mean, just give us a bit more detail on that. I mean, how, you know, is the discovery likely to shed new light on, 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 on the Pluto system, how it was formed, and also how it evolved? That's right. It, uh, it appears, as we understand it, that the planet Pluto, as we know it, got hit by something very, very large, very, very early in its history. And that's what basically broke off this large moon called Charon that you mentioned earlier. Uh, at the same time that that all happened, a large field of debris was scattered all around it. And that debris field eventually settled down to become the five moons that were the four remaining moons that we know about. And those are now in very, very special locations where they each fall at a particular location that is just the right multiple of the number of orbits of Charon to be at a very stable location. And each time we look, we seem to be finding a new moon at one of these stable locations. Can this latest discovery, Mark, tell us uh, how the Earth and our moon was formed? Because scientists like yourselves, uh, I understand, believe that both systems are probably formed from big impacts early in the history uh, of the solar system. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Pluto and Charon together form what is basically called a binary planet. It's two bodies very similar in size that orbit around each other. Well, the moon is a bit smaller than the Earth, but you can almost think of the Earth and the moon also as a binary planet. And if you do, then you realize that the Earth and the moon also formed from a very large collision. Probably something about the size of Mars hit Earth very early in its history, broke off the moon, and that is the moon that we know today.